No way. This place is a box compared to my room. Where am I gonna put my clothes? And how am I gonna sleep on this tiny bed? You cannot expect me to stay here. <laughs> Come on, Madison, this is what dorm life is like. Don't you think you're being a little bit dramatic? No, I want an off-campus apartment. I'm not staying here. We've gone through this. All freshmen have to live on campus their first year. <sighs> I'm so sorry about that. Hi, I'm Rachel, I'm Madison's mom. Hi, I'm Cassie, your new roommate. Yeah, we're not gonna be roommates for very long. Can you please talk to dad and have him call the school board? With as much as he donates, I'm sure they can do something. I am not gonna have your father ask for favors because our high maintenance daughter feels that the dorm room isn't good enough for her, okay? He already thinks I spoil you too much anyway. You know, look, it's nothing a little decoration can't fix, right? We'll have this place feeling like home in no time. Mom, please, some cheap string lights are not gonna fix this place. Ugh, this sucks. You know what? You are being really ungrateful, okay? There are a lot of people who can't even afford to go to college, let alone live in the dorms. Is that supposed to make me feel better? You know what, I've gotta to go to work. The movers will be here soon with all of your stuff. And don't forget, your father and I are taking you out to dinner tonight. Oh, great. Just what I wanted on my first night living alone. Dinner with my parents. Come on, you know this is hard for us. Okay, our baby is going off to college. We just wanna spend a little more time with you, that's all. Okay. It was so lovely meeting you. You as well. Wait, how am I gonna pay for things? You know I lost my credit card. Oh, um, there's an account set up to cover all of your meals and your books, and your father got you a prepaid card. Use it only for emergencies. I think he only put $1,000 on it. That's it? A thousand bucks won't last long at all. Well, it's just a few days. And besides, your new cards will be here soon. You know, for someone getting a bunch of free money, you really like to complain a lot. I don't know, maybe you should get a job. Find out how hard it is to actually earn $1,000. <laughs> yeah, right. The whole reason I even agreed to go to college is so that I don't have to work. You know, when I was younger, I worked and went to school at the same time. Anyway, <laughs> that's a struggle you will never understand. Your father warned me this would happen. Anyway, I love you. I've got to go. Okay, bye. bye. Ugh, I can't believe I have to live in this dump. This room is awful. Ugh, and even this bed is like hard as a rock. It's not that bad. Like your mom said, nothing some decorations can't fix. And maybe you could get a new bed. We could totally transform this place. Um, I'm not sure what kind of standard you're used to, but this is not gonna work for me. Ugh, I'm even getting like itchy just being in here. Ugh, I can't. <sighs> Unfortunately, that's just store policy. Well, that policy is dumb. I wanna to talk to your manager. Uh, okay, give me a sec. Hey, is everything okay? No, they keep telling me I can't charge an iPad to my student account. It doesn't make any sense. Oh wow, you're buying an iPad? I'm saving up to buy one. Saving up? They're not even that expensive. They are when you're on a fixed income. Hi, so yeah, unfortunately you can only charge books and school supplies to your student account. How does it make any sense? Parents were getting upset on how much their kids were charging, so we made this policy a few years ago. But if you still want the iPad, you can always pay for it separately. So do you still want the iPad? How much is it? $998.72. Perfect. You can charge it to this card. Uh, isn't that for emergencies? You think I don't know what I'm doing? The sooner I spend the money, the sooner I get money back. It says it was declined. What? No, that's impossible. Run it again. Same thing. Ugh, this is so annoying. I gotta call my mom. You talked to Dave about that? Mm -hmm. Hang on, hang on one second. Hey! Uh, they keep saying my card is declined and I'm trying to make a purchase. 
How much are you trying to spend? A thousand dollars. I'm sorry, on what? I told you to only use that for emergencies. Uh, this is an emergency. I'm trying to buy a new iPad. We just got you one last year. Why do you need a new one? I just do, okay? I'm in line, so I can't talk right now. But you said there was a thousand dollars on there, so why isn't it working? You know what? Can you tell Ron I need to talk to him? Yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm finding out right now, okay? Your dad isn't gonna be happy when I tell him you're already spending all of this money. What's up? Hold on. You put a thousand dollars on Madison's card, right? No, five hundred. What, what does she need a thousand dollars for? A new iPad. She just got a new iPad last year. I know, but I tried to explain to her. You know what? It's fine. I'll just pay for it over the phone. Yeah, see, now this is why she's never going to learn because you always give in to her. Well. Uh, put the cashier on. I'll just pay for it with my credit card. Thanks. Hi. Hi. I told you I know what I'm doing. I don't get why you can't just at least ask. And say what? I'm sorry, my daughter hates the dorms. Could you please break your policy for her? No. Okay, well, can you at least see if they have any sweets or anything? At least so I don't have to have a roommate. What's wrong with Cassie? She seems like a sweet girl. I'm sure you'll be good friends. <laughs> yeah, right. You think I would seriously ever be friends? Oh, hi. I didn't know you guys were coming to this restaurant. What are you doing here? I started working here last summer. But you go to school. Why do you need to work? To help my mom pay tuition. College can be crazy expensive with tuition and books and everything. Wow, Cassie, I'm, I'm just so impressed. Oh, this was the girl I was telling you about, Madison's roommate. Oh, well, it's nice to meet you. Perhaps you can rub off on Madison so she starts thinking like you. What are you talking about? What's wrong with the way I think? I'm gonna go grab some waters and I'll be back to take your orders. Why would you embarrass me like that? I just think that maybe you could use a little grounding. You know, not a lot of kids have grown up in 10 bedroom houses with butlers and a chauffeur. Well, that's her problem. Don't try to punish me for it. Why are you looking at me like that? I, this is exactly what I told you would happen. You give in to her every time. Can you guys please not talk about me as if I'm not sitting right here? It's so annoying. <sighs> Anyways, do you guys know when my credit card's gonna get here? I don't know. Maybe never. <laughs> Very funny, Dad. Well, who said I was kidding? Oh, and by the way, you know, you blew your budget on buying that iPad today, so I'm gonna need back your prepaid credit card. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'm serious. Ugh. Well, it's not like it matters anyway. I already spent everything on it. I'm sorry, you spent more money today? Yes, I bought these shoes. Aren't they cute? You spent $1,500 in one day. Yeah, what's the big deal? You guys are acting like I spent 15 grand. Sheesh. 1,500 is a lot of money. No, it's not. I don't get why you guys keep acting like we're poor when we own a massive business. Uh, no, we own a big business. You do not. There you <clears throat> are. Thank you. Hey, Cassie, may I ask you something? Sure. It's a little personal. That's okay. How much money do you make working here? Um, it varies. I think last month I made about $1,400. $1,400 she made in a month. You spent more than that in a day. So? It's not my fault her family's poor. You need to apologize to Cassie right now. For what? Madison? I'm sorry that I called your family poor. Even though it's true. I can't believe you! What? They are. Why else would she need to work here? You should be ashamed of yourself. We did not raise you to behave like this. Yes, we did. Excuse me. Everything she asks for, you give her. Designer bags at 14, a Range Rover at 15, credit cards at 16. How else do you think she'd turn out? Well, you could have said no. I have tried many times and I keep getting ignored. You guys are doing it again. I'm literally sitting right here. Okay, so what do we do now? Cut her off, make her get a job. She's never gonna appreciate anything unless she has to work for it. <laughs> yeah, right. I go to school, I can't be working. Lots of kids go to school and have a job at the same time. That's what we did. You certainly can too. 
Mom, please have my back here. I think that's been my problem. I've always taken your side and look where it's gotten us. I'm afraid your dad's right. If you guys seriously think I'm getting a job, then you are out of your minds. <laughs> Fine. Don't get a job. We will just return the designer bags and the Range Rover. And don't think you're getting your credit card back. This is unbelievable. So what's it gonna be? Fine, okay, I will get a job for a couple months, but that is it. No, that is not it. When Cassie comes back, you are going to apologize. Fine, I will. For the first time in her life, Madison has to work for everything she wants. She reluctantly gets a job at the local store. She works long hours and has to help really rude customers. Between working and all of her classes, Madison barely has time to keep up with her homework and study. She's exhausted every single day. When Madison finally gets her first check, she's so happy to have money again. That is, until she realizes how little it is. Madison finally starts to understand just how hard making money really is. Hey, I'm just finishing up some homework, but I should be done in about five minutes. Come on in. Okay, no problem. Although actually, your dad has a few surprises for you. Oh yeah? What's up? That's right. Yes, I spoke to a couple of people and they have agreed to make an exception and let you live off campus. No way. Mm -hmm. We actually found a really nice complex close by and it's got some larger units in it. It's got a pool, a mm -hmm. gym, even a movie theater. I think it is much more up to your standard. And we can drive by on the way to dinner. Really? Mm-hmm. Actually, I think I'm just gonna live here. After decorating it, it's really not that bad. <laughs> um, are you sure? I thought this is what you wanted. It was, but let's just say you guys and Cassie rubbed off on me. We're actually pretty close friends now. Okay. Wow, wow, I am really happy to hear that. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Yes, well, uh, here is something that actually might excite you. My credit card! <laughs> that's right. Mom and I discussed it and we agreed that you have been responsible enough, so that's for you. Uh, as tempting as it is, I think I'm good. <laughs> oh! Well, who is this person and what have you done with my Madison? I actually don't mind working now. I mean, it was tough at first, but it's gotten a lot better. And I actually have a surprise for you guys. Oh yeah? Okay. Here. It's the cash from the iPad that I returned. Oh. <laughs> but I thought you said you needed a new one. Nope. I'm happy with my old one. I guess what you guys said was right. You can never appreciate anything unless you have to work for it. Thank you for teaching me that. Oh, honey. Oh, come here. Oh, I love you so much. I love you guys too. Mm. Tacos to the cock. <laughs> now I'm regretting not buying the other bag too. Oh, you totally should have. If my dad gave me his credit card, I would have. Yeah, and the gold one is so cute. Well, maybe I'll come back and get it before our New York trip! <laughs> Uh-oh, you got a parking ticket. Again, how much is it? Oh, $54. Not bad. Not bad. My parents would kill me if I came home with that. Yeah, mine too. And you know this is a reserved spot, right? There's a $5 parking lot right across the street. I know, but that's way too far to walk. 
and my feet are already hurting from shopping in heels all day. It's fine. I'll just use my dad's credit card to pay for it. He probably won't even notice. You got another parking ticket, Tasha. Not right now, Mom. I'm in the middle of something important. You call online shopping important? Uh, yeah. Winter collections just dropped. You know how fast things sell out? What are all these? Don't tell me you spent more money on- Mom, I don't want another lecture. Can you please just leave me alone? See, this is the problem. We spoiled you too much, and now- Dad! Mom's acting crazy again! Can you please get her? Crazy? Asking you to not throw money out the window is crazy? Dad! What's with all the yelling? Can you get Mom out of my room, please? She's bothering me. She thinks me telling her to not waste so much money on shopping and parking tickets is bothering her. <laughs> oh, I got a $54 ticket. It's not a big deal, okay? It's not like I meant to get it. Another ticket. Isn't this your third one this month? Thank you. She has no regard for money at all. Why would I? We're rich. You guys own the hottest restaurant in town. Why are you acting like we're poor? Now you see, you spoiled her too much. Make her pay for her own ticket and cut up her credit cards. That's the only way she's gonna learn. What? No way, I'm not getting a job and you can't get rid of my credit card. Dad, please say something. <sighs> I'll pay for this last one. But if you get one more ticket, you're on your own. Thank you, Dad. You're the best. Of course he's the best. He gives you everything you want. What about the shopping? Are you going to say anything to Tasha about that? Try to cut down on the spending, OK, sweetheart? Of course. Not a problem. I love you. Love you, too. I called the store and they said that there's only one gold purse left in stock. They better not sell it. I'm sure it'd still be there. You don't have to drive so fast. Yeah, I think you should try slowing down. And risk someone else buying it? Not a chance. I need it for her trip. Oh, have you guys booked your tickets yet, by the way? I'm just waiting for my direct deposit from work to hit, then I'll book mine. Yeah, same. I get paid tomorrow, so I should be good to go. What about you? I'm dropping by my parents' restaurant later. Someone asked them then. I know my dad will be cool with it. It's just my mom that I'm worried about. Uh, a cop! I can't wait this is happening. I tried to warn you to slow down. Dude, the cop is coming to the car right now. Why do you need to call the store? To see if they can hold the bag for me. If someone else buys it, I'm gonna be so mad. How's everything going? Amazing. Oh, you know, can't complain. Hey, Jen. Mind if I leave this here? Yeah, no worries. Thanks. Hey, Dad. Hey, sweetheart. One sec. You may want to try another pinch of salt. Want to try some? I'm okay, thanks. Keep up the good work. So how's it going? Good. Um, you got a sec? I wanted to ask you about something. Sure. What's up? So, you know how I've always talked about wanting to go to New York? Yeah. Well, my friends are planning a trip and I was wondering if you wouldn't mind paying for me to go? Did you ask your mom about it? Come on, dad. You already know what she's gonna say. Can you please just make this happen for me? You got another ticket? Mom, calm down. There's people around. We just spoke about this yesterday. And look, she got a speeding ticket today for $100. Why are you going through my stuff? Tasha. And that's not all. She also bought another bag right after she said she'd stop spending so much. Yeah, but it's not even that expensive. You call $900 not that expensive? This is all you're doing. 
She's never going to appreciate anything unless she has to work for it. Your mom's right, and I'm sorry, but I'm not paying for your trip to New York. New York? But Dad, my friends are going. Please. All these years, we've worked so hard, we haven't even seen New York. Do not give in. It's time to take away the credit card. It's gone too far. Give me my credit card back. No. Please don't do this to me, Dad. How am I going to pay for anything? The same way we all do. By working for it. You want me to work? You won't even have to look for a job. Most people's parents don't own their own business. Hey, remind me how much I pay you guys. Uh, 20 bucks an hour? Right. I'll pay you 18. And here, you can even start right now. There's absolutely no way I'm wearing that. Fine, then I guess you won't be buying anything anymore. Or going to New York. It sucks. And don't think we forgot about the credit card. Are you serious? <sighs> Without her dad's credit card, Tasha finally has to work for everything she wants. She starts by cooking food in the kitchen, she then has to clean dirty tables. She even has to take out the trash. She finally starts to understand just how hard making money really is. And then a couple weeks later, Tasha gets a little surprise. Hey dad. Hey mom. Hi honey. How was work? It was alright. We're so proud of you for working so hard. Thanks. I'm gonna go shower. Wait, wait. I got something for you. Your first paycheck. Really? How much did I make? $897? Yeah, almost enough to buy another purse. Wow, I can't believe I did all that work just to be able to buy one purse. It means more when you have to earn it yourself. Right? Yeah, it does. Actually. Where are you going? Is it okay if I use your credit card? Why? I'm gonna return all of it. I realize now that I don't need this. Especially knowing how hard it was to make back all that money I spent. Really? Yeah. And I was thinking, after I'm done returning everything, maybe I could use the money to- I knew there was a catch. Let me guess. Pay for your trip to New York? No, I was gonna pay for that myself. What I was going to say is, we buy you guys tickets. You know, so that you both could come with me. You want us to come with you? Yeah. If you want to, that is. Are you kidding? We'd love to. Dude, you have to slow down. You're going way past the speed limit. I can't hear you. Leah, you have to slow down. Do you know how many speed traps are on this road? I just got a ticket last week. Would you relax? I have an automatic get out of jail free card. Well, that doesn't help us if you get us killed! <laughs> oh, come on, Alex. Live a little. Woo! <laughs> See? I told you. Just let me do the talking, okay? License and registration? I'm sorry, officer, what seems to be the problem? Do you have any idea how fast you were going back there? No, but it couldn't have been that bad. You were going 20 over the limit, and your taillight's broken. Really? I had no idea. Yeah, I'm gonna have to write you up for that. License ready? No, you can't. My dad would be so upset if I came home with a speeding ticket. Maybe you know him? 
Bill Barton? Are we talking about Police Chief William Barton? Yeah. So you do know him? Yeah, that's my boss. Oh, so you probably know how on edge he's been lately dealing with the department budget cuts and all. If I come home with a ticket, he's gonna lose it. What, budget cuts? Yeah, it's so sad. They're gonna have to let go of some of the guys on the force, and my dad's deciding who to keep and who to let go as we speak. Oh, I shouldn't have said anything. But you seem like a nice officer. I'm sure your job is safe. As long as you don't do anything to upset him, I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Yeah. How about I let you off with a warning? Really? You can do that? Just this one, sir. Oh, that would be so amazing. You have no idea how much this means to me and to my dad. I still have to write you up for that taillight, though. You know, the car is too dangerous to be driving like that. But don't worry. Once you get it signed by the police officer when it's fixed, I'll come off your record. Great. I'm sure I can manage to do that. Promise me you'll get it fixed as soon as possible. Of course. Safety first. Okay. There you go. Saturday day for I will, and I'll make sure to put in a good word for you when I get home. I appreciate that. Have a good day, ladies. Bye. Told you. It works every time. When were you going to tell me about this? Tell you about what? You got another ticket, Leah. Oh, that? What are you doing going through my stuff? If you did your own laundry, I wouldn't have to. Don't try to change the topic. Your father and I told you that if you got one more- Oh my gosh, Mom. Chill. It's a fix-it ticket. I was going to tell you about it. When? I don't know. Eventually. Do you think this kind of behavior is going to fly when you go to college in the next few months? You are making this a way bigger deal than it needs to be. This is your third ticket in the last six months. It is a big deal. Hand me your keys. What? Are you serious? Yes, keys. Now. No way! I'm supposed to meet Alex at the plaza in like 20 minutes. Whoa, what's with all the commotion? Do you want to tell him or should I? Mom's trying to take my keys because I got a fix-it ticket. What for? The tail light. You promised when I signed off on that last one, you're going to take care of that. That was months ago, Leah. And, and I was going to take care of it this weekend. I swear. Can you please tell Mom that she's overreacting and that it's not that big of a deal? It is just a fix-it ticket, honey. It's not like she got caught speeding again. Of course not. I'm not dumb. It doesn't matter. We asked you to fix it, and you didn't. Well, that's because I didn't have enough money for it. Do you know how hard it is for me to get by on my allowance? I, I told you guys I need more money or, or like a credit card or something. Maybe if you weren't shopping all the time, you'd have some left over. If you want more money, you're going to have to get a job. But none of my friends have to get a job. Their parents actually support them. Well, that's not how it works in this household or real life. I want a new iPhone. Do you think I just expect someone to give it to me? You're being so unfair. Since you're old enough to get a ticket, you're old enough to get a job. Bill, can you back me up here? Honey, she said she's going to take care of it this weekend. I don't think it's that big a deal. I definitely don't think we have to take away her keys. Thank you, Daddy. You're the best. Because he always gives you what you want? You're welcome, sweetheart. Now, I got to get going to the station. Wait, Dad. Um, I'm about to go shopping, and I wanted to see if I could get a hundred bucks. Absolutely not. You have already got more. I was talking to Daddy. Not you. It could be an early birthday present. Don't forget, she just got a ticket. And she doesn't turn 18 until next month. How much is it for? $40. There's 60. Okay, I want you to use 40 of it for the ticket. And don't even ask me to sign off on it until the I thing won't, I won't. I'll make sure I take care of it first. Love you, Dad. I love you too, baby. What is this dress? A hundred dollars? No, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, it's it's expensive. 
Mm, but I need the stress for orientation. I thought you already had an outfit for that. I'm not gonna bring just one outfit. Mm. You think you could spot me? You still haven't paid me back for the last time you wanted those shoes. Unlike you, some of us have to work for our money. I'm planning on paying you back soon. Mm hmm. <sighs> Come on, please, 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 please. Leah, I'm not your dad. I'm not gonna fall for your lies. Besides, I'm sure they'll put it on hold for you until you get your allowance. That's not until the end of the month. Orientation's next week. Oh, look. Hey, they're hiring. Maybe you can work for it. You know, like the rest of us. You mean work a job in retail? Yeah. Are you serious? Come on, think about it. Not only will you have the extra cash, but you might get an employee discount. Or I could... Excuse me. Can I try this on? Sure. Dressing room's open. Thank you. Come on. What are you doing? Getting a discount. Just like you said, a five finger one. Are you crazy? That's stealing. What are you, like a lawyer or something? No. Stop it. You could get in trouble. If you get caught, you could go to jail. Leah, come on, think about it. If you have a criminal record, UCSD could possibly rescind your admission. You're being so dramatic. My dad's not gonna let that happen in a million years. Plus, I told you I have a get out of jail free card. All done. Leah, please. Come on, I'm not gonna let you just walk out of here and ruin your whole life over a silly dress. Come here. How did that work out? Oh, um, it wasn't really my style, so I just left it in the dressing room. Have a nice day. I'm gonna need you to open your purse. Uh, no, I'm not doing that. Then I'm gonna have to call the police. Go ahead. All right, let's go. Get your hands off of me! You have no idea who I am! puts two security sensors on a dress. You guys have trust issues. Are you seriously blaming us for something that you just- Thanks for calling, Zach. I'll take it from here. Daddy, I'm so glad you're here. Wait a second. She's your daughter? Can you please just give us a moment? This is all just a big misunderstanding. Somehow the dress ended up in my purse and I don't know, I guess I just forgot to take it out. Come on, Leah. If that was the case, then why was there an extra sensor in the dressing room? And why is there a big hole in this dress? You're gonna have to come up with a better explanation than that. I'm sorry. I, I just really wanted the dress for orientation and you didn't give me enough money for it, so. What were you thinking? Do you have any idea what kind of position this puts me in? It won't happen again. I promise. Can you please just bail me out this one time? Leah, I'm a cop, okay? My job is to help the community, not help you out of trouble every time. Talking your way out of tickets is one thing, but stealing? How could you be so reckless? Do you have any idea what having a criminal record does to someone's life? I know, I know. Daddy, just please. Your mother's right. I have been too soft on you. I can't keep bailing you out every time. You're never gonna learn. Sir? I feel terrible about all this. I'm gonna make sure she pays for everything. I'm taking her down to the station. What? No, Daddy, you can't! Oh, I don't think all that is necessary. Especially knowing that she's your daughter. I think a warning is more than enough. See, even he agrees with me. It's just a dress. You're overreacting. You're not talking your way out of this one. Let's go, taking you down to the station. No, no, Dad. Now, Leah. I understand she's your daughter. Yes, sir, Your Honor. But I don't want any leniency granted just because of that fact. I see. Young lady, you're being charged with petty theft. Do you understand the severity of this charge? Yes, Your Honor. 
I do. Your father, the chief of police, has asked that you receive the standard sentence for first-time offenders. I'm inclined to agree with him and give you a $1,000 fine, 100 hours of community service, and two years of probation. Unless there's any objection, I hear... <clears throat> um, may I, Your Honor? Go ahead. I'd like to ask the court to consider the community service work to be done at my shop where the defendant can work as a volunteer. We're experiencing a staffing shortage and I think this work can teach her a good lesson. If she gets there on time and does the work, then I don't think these other punishments are necessary. Considering she's just a minor and still has a bright future in front of her, I'd hate to take that away from her. That's quite generous of you, considering the facts. It's a little unorthodox, but... Chief, do you have any objection to that? No, sir, Your Honor. Whatever you think is fair. All right. I hereby sentence the defendant to 100 hours of community service. Upon successful completion, this case will be dismissed. I hope you understand how generous this is, Miss Martin. Yes, Your Honor. I do. And thank you. You should be thanking him. Now, you lucked out that your 18th birthday is next week and your juvenile record will be sealed. If you get in any more trouble, you're going to be charged as an adult. So take this as a final warning. Court is dismissed. Leah catches a lucky break and is given a final warning to get her act together. A few weeks later, she starts her first job. She dislikes every moment of working. But considering the alternative, decides to keep pushing forward anyway. It doesn't take her long to see how hard having a job is. She works long hours and no matter how much she does, things just keep piling up. What made it even less fun is she was the only one who wasn't getting paid. She had to do all of the dirty work without any of the fun. And then a few weeks later, it's Leah's last day of community service and working at the store. All right, well, I'm gonna clean up the fitting rooms before I lock up. Oh, I already took care of that. Really? Yep. Great. Then I'll put away the new merchandise that just Done had. and done. Markdowns? Also done. Wow. <laughs> okay. I didn't think I'd ever say this, but I think I'm really going to miss seeing you around. <laughs> I'll contact the court and let them know that you completed your end of the bargain and make sure the case is dismissed. Thank you. You know, it really wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but maybe I'll see you around? Oh. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one more thing before you go. What's this? Open it. <laughs> no. Are you serious? <laughs> Don't worry. I took off all the security tags. <laughs> <sighs> well, even though I shouldn't, I really feel bad for all the work that you did without getting paid. So, it's yours. Keep it. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> don't get too excited. If you were getting paid, that means you'd be making about a dollar an hour. I know technically you weren't my employee, but by far, you've been my best worker. Wow. That, that really means a lot to me. But, but honestly, I can only accept this on one condition. What is that? Well, this is a surprise. We didn't expect you back until winter break. Well, I finished my midterms early and I wanted to come visit you guys. Well, you just missed dinner. Yeah. That's okay. I actually have two surprises for you. Really? What's this? 
No. But how did you? That better I, not be stolen. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't steal it. I didn't want to tell you guys this, but I got a job. And I've been working for the past few months. You did? Yep. And dad, this is for you. Well, this is a first. A paycheck. Hey, isn't this the store where you were? After I finished my community service, I continued to work at the store. But now I actually get paid. Well, honey, that's great, but why are you giving this to me? Flip it over. I endorsed it to you, so you can keep it as payback for all the money that I owe you. Who is this girl? Oh, I don't know. I can't accept this. I, I want you to use this to fix your tail light, okay? Believe it or not, I already took care of that. And I paid back all of my friends the money that I owed them. So I want you to keep it. Honey, we are so proud of you. You really turned your life around. Well, I'm gonna go change, so I'll be back. See what happens when you're not so easy on her? You're right. I'm having a hard time believing that's even my daughter. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Officer Dillon. Chief Barton. What are you doing in my house? The car in the driveway. It was speeding, so I followed you at this address. I, I didn't realize it belonged to you. She's definitely still my daughter. Leah! <laughs> that was so fun. Don't forget to tag me this time. All right, girls, come eat. Just give us a... Froze again. No. Did it save? I don't know. God, I hate this phone. Hey, don't throw your phone like that. You could break it. Who cares? It's practically broken. Why can't you guys just buy us new phones? Yeah, the iPhone 13 is about to come out. <gasps> Wait. Can you please buy them for us? There's nothing wrong with your iPhone 8s. Now hurry up and come and eat before your food gets cold. This sucks. You know, when I was your age, I didn't even have a cell phone. There was just a house phone. I couldn't even make a phone call without your grandma listening in on it. Uh, well, you were lucky to have a house phone. All we had was a pay phone. Can you imagine what it's like to walk three blocks just to make a phone call? Ugh, not this again. Yeah, we don't care what life was like a hundred years ago. I can't believe this. The video didn't save. That means we're gonna have to start over. You can do that later. Eat first. Yeah, your mom worked too hard on this food. Well, if we just had new iPhones, we wouldn't have to re-record it, would we? Ready? Let's go. <sighs> Who's that? My boyfriend. Put something on. I'm trying. Why is it so hard to find something good to watch? Have you checked Hulu? Yeah, nothing. Nothing on Amazon either. Check the Darman app. Maybe post a new video. Darman has an app? Yeah, it just came out. There it is. Hmm. Cool. Um, how about Evil Babysitter Mistreats Kid? I've already seen that one. Put on Mr. Feast Gets Kicked Out of Store. I've already watched that. So? I haven't. Let me see the remote. No, I'm choosing. You always get to decide. No, I don't. Give me yes, it. You no, do. I do. Give me it. No, but just it's my turn. I don't it's my turn. I, I get to pay. Hey. The day's just starting and you're already arguing? Myla never lets me pick what to watch. She always chooses. Oh, why is it so hard for you to find something you both like? Because there's hardly anything good out. Well, it would be different if Myla didn't like to watch dumb stuff. I don't like dumb stuff. You do. Okay, that's enough. You know how many channels I had as a kid? Four. And we never used to fight. Okay, so? Do you want a cookie? Hey, what is with all the yelling? <sighs> they can't agree on what to watch. If you just got us our own TVs like we asked, then we wouldn't have to argue. Yeah, why can't we have TVs in our room? You know, when I was growing up, we didn't even have a TV. Not this lecture again. We don't care. All right, give me the remote. There. Hey, why'd you do that? To stop you from fighting. 
We gotta go. It doesn't matter. Hey, we told Grandma that we'd be there at 10 o'clock. She's probably already got breakfast ready. Are you girls packed? Why do we even have to go to Grandma's? It's so boring there. I don't know what we're gonna do about these girls. Okay, we're here. Could you two please try not to fight each other this weekend? At least until we pick you up tomorrow. <laughs> Wait, we need money. For what? It's not like you're going anywhere. What if there's an emergency? Oh, then use your allowance. We already spent that. Okay, fine. Here. $20, that's it? Where's mine? You split this. What? No way, that's not even close to enough. Give me a hundred then. <laughs> A oh. hundred dollars. I used to get. Yeah, please spare us the lecture. Yeah. How many times do we have to tell you we don't care what life was like in the dinosaur ages? Okay, fine. If you don't want the 20, we'll keep it then. Because as my mom used to say, you can only appreciate something when it's taken away. What? But... Well, hello! I thought I heard your voices out here. Oh my gosh, how much you two have grown. Come here, Myla. Um, I'm Ella. That's right. Sorry about that. Hi, my dear. Hi. Oh. Hi, Mom. Hi. Now, are you sure you're gonna be okay with the girls until tomorrow? Are you kidding? I raised you and seven others, didn't I? I'll be able to manage these two just fine. Okay, well, just keep a close eye on them and make sure they don't go anywhere. Okay. Okay, well, we'll see you girls tomorrow. Call us if you need anything. Oh, I forgot. There's no cell service here. There isn't? Do you have <sighs> Wi-Fi? Oh. Is that that little blue box thingy over there? <sighs> yeah, perfect. We can FaceTime. Oh, great. Okay, you girls have fun. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Have fun with Grandma. Wait, Dad, the $20? Dad! Come on in. I was about to make pancakes. Oh, this place is a dump. Seriously, it's like we went into a time machine. Why don't you call your boyfriend and see if he can come pick us up? Great idea. But what if Grandma asks where we're going? Mom told her not to let us go anywhere. Uh, we'll say we're just going to the corner store or something. She'll probably take a nap soon anyway. Okay. Hey, Grandma, what's the Wi-Fi password? I don't know, honey. I'm sorry, I'm not good at these things. You don't know the password? No, sorry, hun. <sighs> How are we gonna use our phones? Mm. Oh, let me check under the router. Sometimes they put it there. Okay. Nothing. Oh, this is horrible. What do we do now? Oh, here. Here's the house phone. Okay. Hey, it's me. Could you come pick Myla and us up? Okay, cool. If you can come right now, we're at night. Hello? Who is this? Hello? Oh, that was so embarrassing. Now what do we do? Uh, we can call an Uber. How? There's no service or Wi-Fi. That's right. I guess we could just watch TV. What the heck? Black and white? Try changing the channel. <sighs> That's all there is? Grandma, hard any channels work. Sorry, Myla. What did you say? It's Ella. Your TV only has four channels. Yes, isn't it wonderful? So many choices. How are you happy with only four options? Well, some people don't have TVs, so I'm grateful for what I have. Oh, I love that show. Keep it on. <laughs> Hi, 
finally, all my texts are going through. Yeah. I didn't realize how nice it was to have Wi-Fi until we lost it. That wasn't easy. Well, I'm sure it meant a lot to Grandma that you spent some time with her. Yeah. I mean, honestly, <laughs> it was hard at first, but then it was actually really nice. Let's see, what do you want to watch? Oh, you can choose. Wow, I can't believe you're not fighting. Let's just say being at Grandma's really opened her eyes to a lot of other stuff. Well, that makes me really happy to hear. But you won't ever have to argue about what to watch because... We got a little surprise for you. You got us new TVs for a room? Yeah, well, well, we got you one. So one of you can use the new one and the other can take this one. Wow. I don't even know what to say. Everything okay, girls? Because I thought you'd be a little more excited about this. We are. We just realized we don't need all those things. Yeah, after spending time at Grandma's, I can't believe we complained so much. <laughs> Honestly, we're just happy to have more than four channels <laughs> and cell phones. Are these the same girls we dropped off at Grandma's? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Where's all this coming from? Well, let's just say sometimes you can only appreciate something when it's taken away. Thanks for helping us see that. I am so proud of you girls. So uh, what are we gonna do with this? Because I don't know if I can return it. <laughs> I actually have an idea. So, what should we watch? Anything you want, Grandma? Ooh, this is so exciting. Oh, I'll get it. Next, we gotta get Grandma a cell phone. <laughs> Hello. Hey, I'm Leslie, your new neighbor. I have to go. Stay away from her. She may even be dangerous. Aren't you the little princess that lives next door to me? Who said you can talk to my daughter? You're a criminal. I get the alerts. <laughs>